Welcome sun and sunsets. My name is Cynthia Renee Meeks and I'm a spiritual awakening guide for those who have a strong desire to spiritually define their life path in this life or a past life. Now this video today is all about how to cope in your personal year one. Just check out the next slide and you will be able to understand how to calculate your personal year using the universal year four, which is 2020, plus your month and the day you were born on. Let's be back in a minute. The key words for personal year one are action, new beginnings, and opportunities. Personal year one, and I want you to always remember this, personal years happens every uh, once every nine years. So every year is a different personal year. So if, to, if this is your personal year one, you will not get this personal year one for another nine years. So this is your new beginnings, people. New beginnings, okay? Yes, this is August. Yes, we are in a pandemic, COVID-19. However, does that negate you from the, from the energy that you will be feeling in this year? No. Does that prevent you from having opportunities in this year? No. Does that prevent you from starting having this new beginning in your life? No. COVID-19 has nothing to do with your opportunities, taking action, and your new beginning. So I want to let you know, if you are in this month of August and nothing has been working for you, get off that couch, get it together because the energy is there and it's moving you to do certain things in your life. Things may have started a little slow for you and you may have thought, well, if this is my person you one and nothing is going on, well, that's usually what how it happens the person you one. Things are happening, but just remember, they don't happen just like that, okay? Your opportunities come up and you have to just find your, your peace, right? You have to, in meditation, just kind of close your mind and quiet your mind and, and understand what do I want for these next nine years. I closed the chapter in my in my personal year nine now in my personal year one what do i want for these next nine years for my for my financial future for my education uh for my career for for my foundation if you understand how personal years work personal year one it's kind of like personal year four where you're setting the foundation for yourself but in this time this person year one is all about you this is all about getting to know your um, your authentic self, the person who you were born to be, not who you have been programmed to be, okay? So just understand, yes, you may feel a little selfish in this year. You may feel a little wet, uh, pulling away from others so you can go into that nest of and, and figure some things out. Whatever it takes, go do it because this is your personal year. You do have a few more months left in this year, about four more months left in this year. You still have time and opportunity to take full advantage. The tone that you set in your personal year one you're setting that tone for the next nine years of your life. So you wanna, you wanna put, you put everything into motion, right? You wanna hit the ground running. You wanna do everything that, that you have set to do, that you have written down to do all of your, even your New Year's resolutions, everything that you've ever wanted to do in your life. This is the opportunity to do it because you will have, the universe will serve you in this opportunity year. You will have opportunities to show up in your life but you will also have obstacles show up in this life because these obstacles will push you to stand in this leadership one um, um, time frame. Some of us don't have a one in our chart. Luckily, I do, but some people don't have that one in their chart where they can be a leader, feel like they are a leader, feel like they are in charge, feel like they want to be in charge of their business and, and their life. Some of us don't have that in our chart. However, this is your time to to have the same 
energies that people would want in their chart have all the time. So stand in your power, stand in your leadership, take control of your life and make things happen in your life. Now, it will, you will get some benefits in this the rest of this year if you started out, out in January. Some benefits has come up for you. This is August, so this is your eighth, um, ninth month of the year, okay? Because in September, September follows the same num energy as your personal year. So if you're in the person year one, then right now you are in a ninth month. So that means right now close up some things in your life. Get that forgiveness going on in your life. Do whatever it takes so you can move into this next month in September and have some great opportunities to show up in your life, okay? So I wrote down some uh, key phrases that I wanna quickly go over that will help me stay on task. This is, yes, we are in a pandemic, but this is your personal year one. And if some of these things checks off your list that you have been feeling, get with it get with it COVID-19 does not care has no place in your personal year this is all about you and what's going on around you those opportunities are still there for you you just have to find them create them and jump on them okay so here we go with number one get in that driver's seat and move forward in your life you want to get in that driver's seat of, of who you are whether you're married whether you are living at home in your parents' house, it doesn't matter. This is not about a, a, a personal year for everybody else. This is about you. Get your stuff under control, your life in order, okay, for your financial future, for your career, for even for your health. This is a great opportunity. Be proactive and take action. Be proactive. If there are some things you put out there, follow up on those things. If there are some business deals you have out there, follow up on them. They're not going to just, um, some of the things are not going to just jump out there at you. You're going to have to take that action and go get what you want. Opportunities are there, but there are a lot of opportunities that will waste your time. So you have to know which ones are beneficial and which ones are time wasters, okay? Begin something new in a relationship, career, hobby, or project. Begin something new. This is another year, guys, for you to find love. Your person year one is a great opportunity to find your soulmate. And in a person year two, that's a good year to get married to the person that you find in year one. So just remember, if this is a person year one and you are interested in finding a mate, Put those radars out there, people, and find that mate. You still have opportunities in this year. Next next month, in your personal year one, will be a great, great opportunity to truly put all that, put it all in, um, get it all together. What you want to do, so you can search, get out there and search for the person that you want to search. Meaning, get your makeover done, start your weight loss program if you want to do that. Get, your, get you a new wardrobe, whatever it takes, and then get online. I don't know if there's too many sociable things going on right now, but get online. I know you can maybe go to a, um, a restaurant, sit at a bar, whatever. However you find your the people in your, um, in your life to, uh, to date. But whatever it takes, get out there and do it because you can put it out there that you want it. There's several other ways that you can find your mate. You can write to from your spirit guide to their spirit guide. Hey, I'm my spirit guide. Help talk to my mates, my future mate spirit guide, and bring us together. There, there are many, many ways you can do to manifest that 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 perfect person in your life. So this is the perfect time to do that. Okay. Uh, develop, implement new ideas. So yes, you will have an opportunity to have your creative mind open. So get start being creative and get with it. Right create those new ideas that you want for your business or however you whatever you want to do however it would take to help manifest even if it's in your financial uh, area in your life just create those ideas create something put some pen get the pen to paper and just start writing whatever comes to mind just write it see how it sounds to you and you know get it out there and get going with it okay 
um healthy lifestyle again this is the opportunity year where you can get your lifestyle healthy lifestyle in check as you know this is august so the closer we get it will be thanksgiving and then christmas so this is the perfect opportunity if you have not started yet the perfect opportunity for you to get your body in shape okay start eating right eating healthy before the holidays come so you will already have it under control all right um, focus on self-improvement. This is a great year to focus on your self-improvement. You know, this is the year one. Your new beginnings, the new you, are the authentic self. So why not focus on the self-improvement of who you are? If you have some bad habits going on in your life and you don't like them, this is the year to change those bad habits. You want to stop smoking. You want to stop drinking. You want any uh, stop eating unhealthy foods. This is the year that you can stop doing it. You want to stop watching so much TV. This is the year. Start setting some things in motion so you can get you can get that self improvement um, on the way for yourself. Okay. Be independent and self reliant. Be independent. This is an independent year. This is not the year to be codependent or or depending on someone else for for to make things happen in your life. This is the year where you can be self independent. Okay. The year that you can make it happen for yourself make it happen get out there and you get out there and find those um opportunities for yourself make it happen don't wait for someone else to make it happen for you be independent right stand in your true self stand in stand in your on your in your leadership because this is one time that you will actually get that opportunity to be that leader in your life um increase your self-confidence one always comes with lack of self-confidence right even with people one in their chart they lack confidence no matter how strong mind strong will strong voice they may have they still lack confidence so in this year person you want it will not um skip over you okay you have to still find that confidence don't blame it on COVID 19 don't blame it on any other scapegoat you don't have the education you want whatever you're lacking in your life that keep you with your self-esteem low or lack of confidence get that in your life so you can build up your confidence in yourself and know that you can go out and do whatever it is that you want to do especially if you have created that idea for yourself okay plan your goals for the next nine years so again this is the year that sets the tone for the next nine years you want to plan your goals that you want to set aside for every single year if you watch all of my videos you will understand how year after year go um, continue to go even when you're not in the COVID-19 you still have the different energies different tones uh, themes of the year okay so set those goals for the next nine years so you would know come year two this is what my plan are come my year three I want to be more sociable I want to be more um, communicate more of my emotions I want to write a book I want to start this so you will know exactly where you need to put in place things in your life throughout the next nine years and not try to cram everything in your year one you can get a lot of things done in your year one because it gives you the energy to go 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 do 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 be multiple task multitask However, you still need to not waste time on things that would not benefit your growth, self-improvement, and your financial welfare, okay? Uh, let's see. Stay positive, step fresh approach. Yes, always stay positive. There will be a lot of obstacles in this year. Don't give up, okay? That's the biggest thing for you, not to give up not to give up and stay true to who you are keep moving you're setting the tone this is not the time to get um to get sad to get depressed about what's going on this is the time to stay focused stay positive and keep moving keep moving no matter what if you don't see the results you are planting seeds in this year good or bad right good or bad you are planting seeds in this year so watch what you say because words are very vibrational whatever you going out is coming right back to you watch what you say you send the tone you're planting seeds make sure that you are planting those good positive seeds in your life that will manifest and grow throughout the years of this next nine years okay um, be open to new opportunities. Be open to new opportunities. This is a um, kind of like a risk-taking year because you're beginning this whole new you. So you want to make sure that you are staying open to new opportunities, even if they sound something like maybe 
maybe you feel like you don't have the confidence in yourself that you can do them they would not come to you if they was not for you so stay open to new opportunities and just see what happens okay manifest your dreams into reality there are a lot of dreams that you can have had in your year nine that you was not able to um, start because again year nine is all about closing up chapters getting everything ready for your year one but making sure that you are um, completing those nine years now you're in a new year so you want to start with manifesting those dreams that you have you want to start just having dreams right you want to start putting things in motion so they can be manifested even if you don't see them in this year start planting those seeds so things can be manifested for you take that leadership role taking that leadership role standing in your power will show you how you can lead this life this next nine years for yourself standing in your power in your leadership role allowing you to say i'm going to be selfish i am going to be who i am going to be i'm not going to ignore any of these signs in my life any of these emotions any of these feelings in my life i'm going to listen to my intuition and i'm going to move forward whether you have the experience or not a lot of people stop themselves because they feel i don't have that education i'm not like this i'm not like that but if this opportunity has presented itself to you then you have everything you need to see it forward, okay? It could be in your life path. It could be in your born gift number. It could be in your destiny expression number. So know that you have everything you need. If this opportunity is there for you, go after it, okay? So if you wanna win in this year, the colors to win in this year are copper, flame, lilac, and crimson. Now remember, in your personal year one, this is a difficult time in relationships. If you already are currently in a relationship, this is a difficult time because you will kind of pull away from your mate and do your own thing, do some things for yourself to create some things in your life. Personal years is not about a couple thing, right? Because couples have different personal years going on the same. Sometimes they have the same personal year, but they also have different personal years going on at the same time. So just know that this is a selfish year for you. And if you are in your personal year and you are married or in a happy relationship, just let your partner know, hey, I'm in my personal year one. This is why I've been acting like this lately. This is why I've been doing my own thing lately. This is why I felt like I needed this big change in my life because I it's not about the COVID-19, right? A lot of couples are going through a lot of things right now and mainly because they don't understand what why they feel how they feel they don't get this personal year stuff because they don't know about it right so if you are in a personal year one don't stop the energy keep moving and just explain to your spouse or your partner and then I'm in my personal year one and I may be a little selfish I may be a little grouchy I may be focused on what it is I'm trying to do but I have to because I'm setting I'm planting seeds and I'm setting the tone for my next nine years, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is very important. A person you want is very important. A person you want is a very important time in your life. It's a very important time and I often hear people say, I really wanted to do that last year. I really wanted to do it. I had those feelings, those opportunities, but I just didn't think that I could do it don't ignore do not ignore the signs do not ignore the opportunities they are there for a reason the universe has opened up and allowing you to have this moment of who you are and giving you the gifts in this person you want for you so don't negate these gifts don't turn away from these gifts don't ignore them okay be that be present and look at all the opportunities that you have um, that have presented themselves to you and even if they have not been any um, opportunities presented themselves or some that you've noticed go after those opportunities that you want even if you don't have the confidence that you can do the job or or if you can fulfill the the purpose of whatever it's calling for just do it anyway and see what happens it doesn't hurt to do it anyway and see what happens even if you are a life path one or you were born on the first the 10th or the 19th this still this information is still for you 
oftentimes people born on those days or their life path is that number they have that leadership quality but they don't have that confidence in themselves because they was not raised like a leader they was not cultivated as a leader you are still a leader no matter if no one ever told you or not you are a leader stand in your power stand in your leadership role and lead that's why you came to this earth to help those who cannot who are was not born a leader okay you are meant to be there for them look after them and um and lead them in the direction that they should go whatever capacity there may be thank you again for watching this video my name is cynthia renee meeks and i am a spiritual awakening guide for those who have a strong desire to spiritually define their life path in this life or a past life i am a numerologist a meta meta metaphysician and a um, hypnos hypnotherapist. So if you would like to book an appointment with me, simply go to my website, CynthiaReneeMeeks.com and book that numerology or hypnosis appointment today. If you would like to get have a question, uh, just a simple general question, simply drop me a question in the comments below or you can go on my social media and send me a, uh, DM me a question. That's Twitter and Facebook and um, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I am Cynthia RM. All right. Always remember to love, live and forgive. Bye for now.